Hi guys, you're Ray 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. We are at Jerez with our Moto3 Junior team. Xavi Carmona has qualified in 10th place and Corinne Blanchard has qualified in 14th. So let's see how these guys get on in the race. So McPhee on pole, Messia second, Antonelli third. But yeah, we've got Carmona in 10th. And uh, Blanchard in 14th. Right. Let's see how they get on. Right. Here we go. Okay, that was an okay start for Carmona. Blanchard is looking up the inside into turn one to get a few places. Carmona's got Vietti right up him at the moment. Okay, so Carmona is currently in 8th position, trying to get past uh, Fanati there. So, can he get, that's actually uh, past he goes, has he got him? Oh, he just clipped the back of McPhee there, that sent him a bit wide. You slipstream, you, you're going for the open air there, right, go for slipstream. Here comes Vietti as well. On the brakes into Pedroza corner. McPhee's on the outside. Vietti's up the inside. And Carmona is in 8th position at the moment. Back up to 7th. Can he get up the inside? Nearly. Not quite. That's put him back down to 8th position. Right. Let's see how Blanchard's getting on 12th position at the moment. Just behind Tony Arbolino. So Blanchard in 12th position. Albert Arenas just behind her, trying to get up the inside there. Oh, is that McPhee on the outside there? He's just lost um, some time there. It looks like uh, Carmona has made a few positions. He's, uh, well, he hasn't ready. He's made one position. He's an eighth. He's behind Vietti now. Here comes Blanchard on McPhee. Down into Lorenzo corner. On the outside of him, though. You slipstream. It will help you out. Or not. That's fine. That's 10th position for Blanchard now. Alonso Lopez is up next. And uh, Lopez is all over the back of Carmona at the moment. Okay, through they go. Let's go to Carmona who is just behind Vietti. But yeah, he does have Lopez just behind him and uh, Blanchard isn't too far behind her teammate as well. So looking pretty good at the moment, looking behind him. Strange place to do that. He's trying to slipstream Vietti. He's not late enough on the brakes to get past, so staying in 8th position for the time being. Blanchard still in 10th. Just a little bit of a gap to try and get across to get to Lopez. It's like Carmona was going to run the outside of Vietti there, but it wasn't going to work. So still standing in 8th position. I don't think he's going to get on the podium from here, that's for sure. So Lopez just behind. And uh, I'll tell you what, Blanchard is catching. She can get ahead of Lopez. She might be able to get Carmona as well. Could be a battle with the teammates. Yeah, Carmona's just dropping back from Vietti now. There is Lopez. Squirming out the final corner aboard that Husqvarna. Mino 47-8. Come on, Blanchard, try and get another position. That would be great. And this is probably the closest she's been to her teammate for well, since the beginning of the season. So, not too bad. Both inside the top 10. It would be nice for them to get more podiums, but uh, 
Carmona just struggling at the moment. He's going to lose quite a few positions in the championship, I think, if he finishes down in eighth, which isn't ideal. Right, use that slipstream. Stop weaving as well. Down to Pedroza corner. Yeah, I think he's just starting to escape the clutches of Lopez. Just need Blanchard to try and get past him as well, but it's not looking likely at the moment. Come on, guys, you can do better than this. He could potentially get sick, and I think that's going to be about his limit. Because there's a gap to uh, the next group. And the front two have got a bigger gap over them as well. Yeah, Blanchard's still not passed yet. Is this going to turn into a five-way battle for a uh, sixth position? It may well do. It all depends. Come on, Corin. Just try and catch Lopez. It's so close. Come on, please. There's a bit of a gap emerging, a little bit behind Carmona. You need to get past Lopez, come on. It's a bit too far back to uh, utilise Slipstream to its full effect. Is she just struggling to hang on now? The rear is starting to move around a bit more. Well, seemed like she didn't really open the throttle fully then. That's a bit bizarre. Carmona, yeah, he's... I don't think he is going to get Vietti. Tell you what, they are catching the next group though, aren't they? That group is coming back to them. There's only two laps to go. Yeah, big gap behind to Lopez now. Lopez has really dropped off the pace, as has uh, Blanchard, unfortunately. So that penultimate lap of the race. Mino leads from Suzuki in second, Antonelli third. That is your top three. And Carmona make up a few positions on the last couple of laps. It's not looking likely. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think he's going to be stuck in 8th position. But Blanchard's stuck in 10th because Lopez has really pulled away now. Is she safe? Yeah, she's got a big gap behind her. So it's looking like it's more than likely going to be at 8th place for Carmona and 10th place for Blanchard. Unless anyone crashes, but it's very rare that someone crashes in Moto3 on this game. But we shall see. It's not looking good for our team, that's for sure. I mean, it's still going to be points. And it would normally be a good result, but after, you know, getting some podiums, it's definitely not where we want to be. We've got one lap to go. Can Carmona push for one more lap? Blanchard's still safe in that 10th place. Come on, Carmona. You've got literally one lap to go. Don't let me down. This is literally the final lap. The 
Both going to finish inside the top 10. But no top 5s for them. Yeah, no, nah, Carmona is nowhere near close enough now to Vietti. He's not going to do it. Blanchard is definitely not going to catch Lopez. She's still safe. Yeah, still safe. Carmona is uh, safe from Lopez as well. So, uh, yeah, these two have uh, struggled to, to up their game for this race. It sounds like coming out of some of the corners, they seem to be in a too lower a gear. Or too higher a gear, even. Seem a bit slow on acceleration. They need to bank down to first to try and get the drive out. It sounds like they've got it in second instead. Yeah, eighth and a tenth. Better than nothing, but uh, if Carmona wanted to fight for the championship, he's not done himself any favours whatsoever on this race. So into the final corner. That is going to be it. Eighth position for Carmona. And tenth position for Blanchard. Well, there we go. They've done their best. So unfortunately, they're going to lose quite a few uh, positions in the championship, I think. So yeah, Carmona in eighth and uh, Blanchard in tenth. Right, championship. Yep, Carmona's lost a place. He's now 20 points behind Antonelli. And Blanchard's actually gone up a position, up to 10th. 51 points behind. Okay then. So, no podium. No uh, cutscene or anything. So we can go on to the next race now. Yeah, we've dropped two positions in the team championship as well. 44 points behind. We are joint on points with the Sterogada Max Racing Team. Right, it is time for Le Mans. It is raining and uh, Corin Blanchard has qualified in 10th. And uh, a teammate has qualified. Right then, it is time for Le Mans, which is uh, Blanchard's home race. It is raining at the moment. And her teammate is qualified in 8th. So uh, let's get on with the race and see how they get on. Uh, actually, Carmona is qualified in 6th, not 8th. I do apologise. But uh, Blanchard in 10th. So let's see how these guys get on in the rain. Right. Second row for Carmona. Here we go. Good start from Arbolino. Bad start from Messia. As they have the long run up towards the chicane. So Carmona currently in fourth position. Into the chicane they go. And he's trying to get up the inside for third position but not quite able to. Six laps around here. Where is Blanchard at the moment? Still in 10th. But yeah, it is her home race here in France. Okay, she's a little bit weak on the brakes, I'm not going to lie. Carmona still in 4th position. I hope it's not going to be a repeat of Jerez, where they uh, didn't really make any positions up. To Garage Vet. He was looking up the inside of Arbolino. Arbolino just in the way a little bit there. Can he get him down straight? It would help if you slipstreamed. If you slipstream, you'd be past him by now. You're not going to get him on the brakes either. Right through the beefy asses. Oh, he's a little bit slow through there. Especially going from side to side, so he's lost a bit of time. Blanchard in ninth position at the moment, just behind the Leopard duo. Okay. So 
So end of lap one. We are in fourth and ninth. Tasuki Suzuki just behind Carmona. And Arbelina just ahead. Use your slipstream. Trust me, it will help. It will help a lot. Well, he's not wanting to use his slipstream at the moment. Blanchard still in ninth, but uh, pretty close to Mino at the moment. Got Fanati right behind her as well, looking up the inside. Is he going to get her? He's taking a much tighter line. She missed the apex through that corner. Okay, through Museum and uh, Fnati's trying to go the long way around, slipping and sliding all over the place. I think Fnati's going to get it. He is. Fnati is uh, unfortunately for Blanchard up the inside into Garage Vert. So that's her back down to 10. Carmona, he's still not that far behind Arbelino, but I just wish he'd get in the bloody slipstream. Come on. It's the first time, I think, since I've been playing this game, where every single session was wet. I think FP1 for the MotoGP class was a wet track, but all the other sessions was rain. That never usually happens, so uh, at least the weather's been consistent. Slipstream, come on. Antonelli, 49.5. Blanchard's still in 10th position, just behind Mino, so Fanatis have got past Mino now. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. The front two are getting away, but the podium beckons. Blanchard in ninth and out, so Blanchard has got ahead of Mino. And Mino has just lost a position to the other Husqvarna, which is uh, Lopez. Stay with Fanati, see if he can drag you up to the next group. That is going to be uh, the plan, hopefully. Carmona can't relax too much. He's still got riders just behind him. He is so close to Arbelino now. You have to make, make an overtake. Come on, mate. Get past him. Here he goes. He's going to go for third. There he goes. He's into the podium position. Into the BFSs. He's not going to catch the front two. He's taken too long getting past Arbelino now. Yeah, third position. That's good. Hopefully he'll stay there, but it looks like Suzuki's already trying to attack Arbelino now. Suzuki is on the move. Oh, don't let Arbelino bully you out of the way. So that's the end of lap three on to lap four Blanchard still in ninth position sticking with Fanati but she has got Lopez for company he's pretty close so is Minio up the inside of Lopez not quite able to get through there Don't think she's going to be able to get Fanati. Carmona still in third. That's good. Keep it going. Get a podium. That would be a good result. My team's first outing in the rain. And uh, potential podium on the cards here. It would be nice if in uh, future titles, if we still have this game mode... That uh, when you get to their home race, they uh, push a little bit harder and try a little bit harder. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, 
Blanchard still in ninth at the moment. Losing time to Fanati. She has pulled away from Lopez a little bit. But yeah. Falling away from Fanati at the moment. The home race and uh, yeah. Not going too well. But I tell you what, she has been pretty consistent this season. Obviously, she's 10th in the championship. She's uh, con consistently getting points. And like Danma in Moto2, who is literally all over the place. Carmona still in third. He's got not a hope in hell of catching the front two. They've uh, long gone now. But we're on the penultimate lap of the race. Oh no. Here comes Fodja trying to come through. Don't let him through, otherwise you're going to lose that podium position. Come on, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Keep it going. Don't let him through. Okay, down to garage vet. Fodger's up the inside. No, he's not. He had a look. He's sliding all over the place. So Antonelli leads Vietti in second. Carmona is still in third, but I think he's going to lose the podium position. I don't think he's going to hang on to it. I hope he does, but I don't think he will. Blanchard still in ninth, but Mino has uh, made a little bit of a resurgence and he is catching back up to uh, Blanchard, so we could see her drop back down to 10th position soon. I see a pattern emerging for Blanchard's 10th position. Here it all. Oh. Rogers up the inside trying to get through, but not able to. He's going to get him on the straight, that's for sure. So the last lap that uh, Carmona is going to be in third position I think here comes Foggia round the outside put him up the inside for the chicane and he is through oh, sliding come on get back underneath go on go on not quite there he's side by side as they go into the next corner up the inside for Carmona Send Fodger a little bit wide. Go on. I dare you. There we go. Back in the third. Fight for it. You deserve the podium. No. The bike is so slow. In fact, both of my riders seem to back up the throttle coming out of there. Which is very annoying. So, you're not going to get a podium now. Open the throttle. Yeah, podium has gone, unfortunately. Blanchard has been demoted to 10th place as well and lost a load of time. She's safe in 10th, but uh, yeah, a 4th and a 10th. They both lost a position in pretty much the same places, I think. Definitely both on the last lap, that's for sure. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be for Carmona at Le Mans. Stolen on the final lap of the race. The podium has gone. Fourth position for Carmona. And tenth position for Blanchard. There we go. Okay, so that is that. So Antonelli won with Vietti in second and Fodger in third with Carmona in fourth. And Blanchard came tenth. Championship. Carmona has moved back into third, but he's 32 points behind Antonelli now. So that is not ideal. And the team championship. Yeah, we've moved back up to fourth. So, okay.
Okay, so we can do some more team development for our Moto3 team. We'll be able to do the same with our Moto2 as well. Motocross and Superbike training, that will hopefully help the riders out quite nicely and PR department as well. So that is that. Anything in bike development? I don't think so. Um, technical director and team manager. I think we'll keep the team manager as it is. Technical director. Yeah, I think we'll keep that as it is as well. So, all that's left to do is have a look at the overall standings for Moto3. And then uh, we can see uh, where our riders are lining up. So stats wise, they're not doing too bad. They are progressing, which is good. Uh, we can't do rider recruitment at the moment. Right, standings, Moto3, obviously Antonelli's leading that at the moment from Messia in second and Carmona currently in third place with Blanchard in 10th. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and wash your hands. See you.